Good evening and welcome to the daily market update. The DSEX returned to the positive zone today, gaining 19.83 points or 0.31 percent and settled at 6,326 points. Market turnover was BDT 10.37 billion, which is a decrease of 6.61 percent compared to the previous trading day. Delta Life Insurance, Green Delta Insurance and Rupali Life Insurance from the insurance sector, Al Arafa Islami Bank and Prime Bank from the banking sector and Bata Shu from the tannery sector mainly pulled the market up today. In terms of sector-wise return, the insurance sector posted the highest gain of 4.21 percent, while the tannery sector registered the second highest gain of 1.01 percent. On the other hand, the IT sector posted the highest loss of 1.12 percent today. 13 insurance companies were among the top 20 gainers today. Crystal Insurance, Legacy Footwear and Progressive Life Insurance registered the highest gain, while Simtex Industries, CAPM, IBBL, Islamic Mutual and Meghna Pet Industries were the top losers today. There is no publicly disclosed price sensitive information for the price change of these stocks. The trading volume of Global Slummy Bank, National Life Insurance and Salvo Chemical Industries increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. The Global Slummy Bank might have met up investors' expectations, thus the volume of the company might have increased, while investors might have shown interest in Salvo Chemical Industry as they are scheduled to have their board of directors meeting on 29th of May. There is no public disclosed material reason for the volume increase of the remaining stocks. Today's top two news, the Center for Policy Dialogue, CPD, has proposed to impose inheritance tax, a part of wealth tax, in order to curb wealth inequality. This would be a good source of revenue collection, which would increase the country's tax GDP ratio. If this plan is executed properly, an additional BDT 6,000 crore is expected to add to the revenue collection. Apparel export to the EU soared by 3.9 percent in the first quarter of this year compared to the previous year to USD 5.6 billion, maintaining the place of second largest apparel source for the EU. Though quantity-wise, the export declined compared to the same period of last year due to the increased unit price caused by the raw materials, transport and production cost hike. So the apparel export situation might get better or degrade depending on the economic condition of the Western countries and the cost of production. That's all for today. We will be back again next week with more updates on Dhaka Stock Exchange. Follow Alert Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.